hello everybody uh, welcome to my youtube channel again uh, lots and lots of requests about uh, maneuvers uh, parking and things uh, so today I have decided to do a video about uh, parallel parking now in the test uh, most of the examiners don't use the word parallel parking um, they will say reverse parking okay I will explain you uh, more in the details in a minute but yeah so we're gonna do a uh, reverse parking exercise today we're gonna learn that in this exercise you will be driving first and then uh, while you're driving examiner will give you instructions something like this they will say uh, pull up on your left just before the next park vehicle so for this instance there is a red car you can see in the front so imagine that you are driving and you will see this red car quite a further away and examiner will say i like you to pull up on the left just before the next park vehicle the red car in the front uh, and leave enough room so you can move off again or they'll say pull up on the left well before the red car on your left so now I'm imagining that, uh, I mean, uh, you can imagine that uh, I'm, I'm just pulled over just before this much distance. So don't pull over too close to it. So we pulled over. Once we pull over, the examiners say something like this. They will say, this is your reverse park exercise to the car in front of us. I want you to go and stop next to the car and reverse and park behind this car, keeping your car reasonably close to and parallel to the curve okay so what does that mean is you want to be reasonably close to the curve when you do this parallel parking exercise and uh, parallel to the curve as well so you want to be straight to the curb not not bendy like that okay um so and then they will say i want you to finish this exercise uh, i want you to finish this exercise within the two car length now here lots of people get confused in the test and I see my lots of candidate uh, in the past uh, they end up reversing two car length um, they're not saying reverse two car length they say park no, I'm just waiting for that motorbike noise to go um, yeah they say park within two car length means you have to pretend that there is a car behind and then you have to do your parking so one car length space is your own car length space and you're gonna leave the one car length space between you and the car in front of you so it's easier for you to get out after you finish your parking so it says within two car length not reversing two car length so after finishing the parking also lots of my candidates they end up reversing quite a lot don't do it okay um, they will also say that if there is any driveway or anything examiner will say that ignore the driveway at this occasion uh, and any drop curb treat like a race curb so if there's a driveway or anything so you just ignore it, it means uh, they're not tricking you they're not allowed to trick you so if they say it do it so you can uh, block the driveway and you can park in front of the driveway okay and they'll say any drop curb treat like a race curb drop curb means the curb not going to be higher it will be dropped it's like in level with the road it's like an entrance to the drive it that type of curb so what they're trying to tell you is that any drop curb treat like a race curb means even there's a drop curb you're not allowed to go on the curb or uh, you're not allowed to touch the curb or not allowed to go on a payment while you or part of the driving you're not allowed to use that while you're doing the parking uh, if you don't understand anything what they're trying to say you are allowed to ask them or I would say just to like you've been practicing with your instructor uh, examiner also sometimes say that uh, at the end they will say oh, just like you've been practicing with your instructor okay so I'm gonna repeat all the instructions again one more time very quickly so you understand what sort of instruction you expect from the examiner so once you stop they will say oh this is your reverse park exercise uh, I want you to go and stop alongside the car and reverse and park uh, behind this car keeping your car reasonably close to and parallel to the curb uh, finish, it, finish this exercise within the two car length ignore the driveway at this occasion and any drop curb treat like a race curb just like you've been practicing with your instructor 
if there is a yellow line or anything as well they will say ignore the yellow line at this occasion as well so if they're telling you you do it so what we're gonna do is so I'm gonna show you how to do it okay now this is a Toyota Yaris car and we have a set formula here so I explain if you have this car or similar car then you can use this formula and I will also explain you how to do it in any different car as well okay so I draw this one circle so you're gonna turn one turn at a time okay so so you're gonna do one turn at a time so if I say this one circle so and we're turning a left so L for left R for right right and a left so uh, this is also called one to one method means uh, one turn to the left and two turn to the right and one turn to the left so one to one method we use in most of the instructor they have the same similar method uh, but anyway one turn to the left means one circle you're gonna turn like that means you will see again uh, the wheel will look straight if you do one turn to the right it will you come again straight like that but i will i will explain you while while i'm doing these things okay so huh. another thing is when you do this maneuver uh make sure you move the car with the brake only so keeping the car very very slow okay um if you're driving in a manual car i mean if you're learning in a manual car make sure you do this parking exercise with that clutch control only okay uh, so not using them much gas unless your wheels get stuck uh, or if it's a little hilly area Then you can use a bit of gas or if you will get stuck in a potholes and things uh, Or some stones or something then you can use a bit of gas to come out that situation um, Yeah, so this is the formula we're gonna use and uh, I will also explain you along the way uh, how to do it in a other different car as well, okay? But this is a Toyota Yaris and we're going to use a camera for uh, this uh, parking exercise to uh, to help with a, a very, uh, uh, what you call, perfect parking. Um, camera, lots of people ask me, are we allowed to use? Yes, you are allowed to use the camera in the test as long as you don't stare in the camera so you can look but not stare use the camera as an additional mirror just like you use your side mirror while you're doing parking but that doesn't mean you're gonna watch like you you're watching a television or something okay so you just want to have a quick glance like that but you still have a look around and, and but anyway i explain in a minute so let's start parallel parking so ex examiner gave you these instructions and then uh, It'll say, okay, drive uh, or uh, start whenever you're ready or uh, do the parking whenever you're ready. So, so we're going to have a nice observation all around it. Okay, signal if it's necessary. So I'm going to give it anyway, just in case somebody turns up last minute. And very slowly, like I say, I'm moving with the brake only. And look in the front now, I'm going to go until my car is nice and straight there. so we're gonna go completely parallel to this car okay we're gonna leave a one meter space between you and the car in front of the uh, car next to you then we're gonna select the reverse gear when you select the reverse gear the camera turns up in this car okay so when we select the reverse gear then we have a good look around again okay when we're reversing, I would say look around from the right to the left. So right first, clear, and then you go back. Just waiting for this cyclist as well. Okay, so we're gonna go back until you see uh, the back of the vehicle. So here in the corner, here in the corner, uh, roughly around here, you should see the back of the vehicle. So when I see the back of the vehicle, well, I can see that's where you're going to stop. Okay. So now at this point, uh, you, when you see the back of the vehicle, so first straight, uh, straight your vehicle, look around and you go back until you back of the vehicle. Now you do one turn to the left at this point, okay. looking around again. And then you go until this blue corner touches the curve. Okay. In the camera, this blue corner touches the curve there okay so just should 
touch the curb only uh, make sure you you don't uh, you don't climb that blue corner it should just uh, touch the then at that point one turn to the right So yeah, just, uh, just you should just uh, touch blue corner. Should touch the curb, not climbing on it, neither staying too far away. Okay. So at that point, you turn one circle to the right, then looking around, and then you go until this red line touches the curb. There. Okay. Now, if the curb is a higher curb, so for example, if the curb is higher curb, make sure. The red line is touches at the bottom of the curb, not at the top. Okay, so you keep it in here. Right. Um, so at this point, you're gonna turn one turn to the right again. Okay, because you can see in the camera, you want to go that way. Yeah. So the car wants to go that way. You turn that way. So one circle to the right. Looking around again, and then you go. I look in the small mirror now. We can do it until the car is straight. There, straight. You can see in the camera as well, the blue line is in line parallel with the curve. At this point now, we're gonna do one turn to the left. Okay. And now you can see, uh, this is perfectly parked within the two car length and uh, it's uh, parallel to the curve and uh, it's reasonably close to the curve as well, okay? Um, I'm gonna do one more time this is, so more sort of quicker way so you understand a bit better. So if they say, let's do parking, so you can see me now how I'm doing, okay? point one turn to the right are you going until this red line touches the curb okay at this point we're doing one turn to the right because again you want the car to go away from the curb and now looking in the small mirror until the car gets parallel there okay so nice and straight so we're going to straight the ball by turning left one circle uh, and that's it once your parking is done you can do parking and brake and yeah then the examiner says uh, uh, thank you uh, drive one when you're ready so you put it in a drive Break down looking around and then you signal and then you move off okay now uh, if you do get it wrong then you are allowed to correct yourself any maneuver any reversing exercise you are allowed to correct yourself okay so if you think you haven't done a good job or you messed it up you can go forward uh, then come back and fix it um, every time you fix it every time you go forward and coming back make sure you look around lots of people they correct it fine but they fail in the observation now with this camera technique uh, the good thing about it is the accuracy is so good every time you do it you get you end up at, at the same place and um, we have this dry steering method as well so uh, dry steering is not a big deal nowadays so uh, i teach like this for more than 10 years and, and same method and have no problem and uh, I hardly had any client failing in the parallel parking uh, uh, yeah they have a couple of time for observation 
but not uh, not with accuracy because it's so accurate that if you line up those reference points you should get it now if you don't have a camera uh, then what you do is a similar technique you can use uh, uh, using the mirror so when when i say that blue corner touches the curve at the same time in the, uh, you can see in the, your side mirror the back of the boot of the car, your car if it touches the curve then you you do that turning that and then you can check in a small mirror if your wheel goes very very close like a red line touches the curve same way uh, your wheel goes very very close to the curve at that point you you turn right and it should work but most of the car has a cameras and things especially if you're learning in a yaris or all the clients already who is um, learning with me so that's that's really good uh, helpful video for for them okay um yeah so um make sure don't stare in the camera okay you look around okay that, that's what i could say anyway in the next video i will also explain you about uh, pull up on the right and things okay um leave a comment uh, if you need any more information about this parallel park okay thank you and thank you for watching video